Hi lovelies, don't mind me, I'm having my Marilyn Monroe moment, it's so hot in this office. Um, so I've just got the fan on me, but I want to talk through the new budgeting products. So obviously we've had the budget planner previously, um, but the planner has had a huge glow up. So not only have we got it in the pink with the foil, we've also brought it out in the sage green. The insides are exactly the same she has got a lot thicker so we've added a lot more content in so i'm just going to talk you through all of the pages because before i started like a planner business whenever i bought a planner i always found that you only used to get like two or three photos of the insides like i want needed more so that's why i always like to do like a detailed talk through of show of like how to use the pages um because you need to know what you're getting so yeah we're gonna do the budget planners but also, now this is really exciting because I've been working on this for such a long time, um, going back and forth, um, sketching and changing my ideas. But finally, we've got pretty perfect budget binders. Now, again, I'm gonna talk you through all of these, what's included. Um, and yeah, if anyone's got any questions, obviously pop them um, in the comments and obviously I'll get back to you. But again, these come in, Three different colors obviously we've got pink we've got the sage green and then we've got like the cream all got gold zips they're absolutely stunning let's get into it let's get budget planner first i really don't want to turn this fan off oh it's so good okay so the new budget planner obviously besides from all the changes inside we've also had a little glow up on the cover we've got the gold binding and um, to match the, obviously the other collection and we've gone with the gold foiling detail on the front we've also got the sage green to match the new mill planner for those who don't like pink and um, as i say these insides are exactly the same and um, the first sort of difference um to the planners is the couple of pages at the beginning i've just put more information in of like why you need to budget how to set a budget and like setting a budget that is right for you so obviously you can just take a glance at all of those i've just put like a little terminology thing here to just prompt to remind people what things mean um, and then obviously we go into um, the planner so we've got financial goals just to start us off we've got one for the year ahead one for the next five years and then we've got long term so my goals are for the year ahead is just start trying to save and like not be in our overdraft the next five years is to be able to like pay off more of the mortgage and then my last like long-term goal is to retire early i feel like that's probably everyone's long-term goal we then got like a yearly expected spends. So things like if you're going on holiday, people's birthdays, Christmas, obviously I've put some in there for you already. So it's just writing down any other dates like anniversaries, etc., that you know that you're going to be spending throughout the year. Then this next section is repeated. So the planner is still 12 months worth. So you can start it whenever it's undated. As you can see, I've started it in June. Um, this is like a little overview. You've got like your monthly finance goals and what's going on this month. So goals wise for me, um, not being at overdrafts by the end of the month, pay off £100 for the credit card and make £50 side hustles, like selling items around the house. And then what's going on this month, we've got Father's Day. So I'm going to budget about £30 to spend on Adam. We've got birthdays, 14th on the 29th, so I need to get something for those. And we are moving, so I need to, I think we're going to need to get a survey, which is like £500 <laughs> to try and find. And we have to get Skip to start decluttering because we can't take everything with us. So that is like what's going on, Ooh, what's going on this month. Every single month has a different budget in quote, so throughout the whole planner, so that's this one. I, by the way, I have post-it note these because I just find it really funny, like <laughs> sharing money. So, um, yeah, if you see loads of pink post-it notes, that's why. So the first um, difference to this planner is I've added some more pages in. So we've got like a budget overview. So we're creating a spending plan for the month ahead. We've got estimated and we've got actual. So money coming in. So like that's mine and Adam's and any side hustle money. That's the total. Fixed expenses things that don't change, so things that have to get paid and they're like a direct debit, for instance, things like mortgages, rent, 
um, phone bills, etc. We've then got variable expenses, so things that do change, could be a food bill, petrol, and then we've got monthly savings. So you add all of those up and then you've got like a little leftover and then you can choose what you want to do with the leftover money. Now, next page, I you remember I did one page for the monthly overview. I wanted some more space to actually like fit more things in. So I've split it into a double spread. We've still got our um, like overview box. So we've got income one, income two, side hustle and other. And then we can total the income up. We've then got money out. So I've spread this over a page and a half. So money out, we've got fixed expenses here. So these are the expenses that don't change. So for us, we've got like mortgage, water, um, you know, council tax, insurance, things like that. We then have got um, my expenses and Adam expenses. Now, they weren't all going to fit in the box and I also wanted to keep them separate. So at the back of each of this monthly section, there is a personal expenses. So I just wrote Jacqueline Fix and Adam Fixed and what they were and just listed them. So obviously, pet insurance, car insurance, Sky, things like that. And then the totals here. And then I have... Um, just included the total. I haven't just wrote them all down because they're already here. I didn't need to write it twice. We also have a separate food and home essentials card just because we found that we were spending so much on our money and like when we go to Tesco and just random things. So that was just us being a little bit more mindful of how much we're spending. So I now just transfer on payday money into a food like account. So again, that's fixed. I do that same amount every single month. Um, so yeah, that's why that's in the fixed. So that is a total of fixed money there. We've then got variables, the things that change, um, you know, like lashes, hair, haircuts, coffees, etc. We've then got events and occasions. So like it could be nights out, birthdays, um, anniversaries, things like that. Um, debt repayment. So any like debt that you need to pay off. Savings and investment. Um, and then leftover money. So once you take all of these things off, the income do you have anything left over so that is like a monthly overview we have also at the back there's some notes pages and i've also done like a payday plan so when we get paid so today for instance the 26th that comes into my account straight away i leave um a certain amount for direct debits just to come out i pay a certain amount into the bills account I take some money out cash wise. Um, well, I'm going to start doing this cash wise for savings. I have got a saving account just to save, start saving for maternity. And then I've got a food um, account. Obviously, Adam doesn't have as many different things. He's just got leaving the account, pay into the joint, and get some cash out. And obviously, he's got some money left, a little bit left over. So after the monthly, we've got weekly spend. So week one, two, three, four. And then obviously sometimes there is five weeks in a month. So we've just put the fifth one in. We've then got each at the end of um, every section, we've got like a monthly extra income. So if you're trying to um, make a little bit of side hustle money, we've actually already sold some garden furniture. I wanted 50 pound, but we've got 30 pound cash. So I've just ticked that off. Um, see, these are some of the other things that we're trying to sell, especially well, the fact that we're moving house as well. We're just trying to get rid of things and just yeah save a little bit of money so we've got the extra income here and the page that i showed you earlier which was the personal expenses so this is um repeated so as i say you've got the monthly overview you've got the spends you've got a different quote each month and then just flick through all of those because they're just repeats we then go to the next section which is ooh, debt so i've added this bit in here We've got sinking debt. So things like Klarna account, this is just an example here. Credit card, Klarna account, like next so far. You could put date and how much it's going down. So you should see it going down here. Um, I made a payment today for my credit card. So again, I'll just see that going down. If I have any other debt, I'll just put them here. So we've got sinking debt. We've got a few of those throughout the year. We've got a debt repayment tracker. We've got a few of those for different things. We then go into savings. So this is all about setting the savings goal and some information here. Things I want to save up for. So I've just started um, writing a few things here. Um, obviously, again, throughout the year, I'll just fill that up. And then we've got saving trackers. Um, so you can just start totaling all those up, little trackers. 
this is the fun part that i've obviously added in really excited about this so again like it says here grab some um coloring pencils we've got a penny savings um tracker i don't know if you've seen this so um these are amounts here you get yourself a pot and you tick off when you've got some spare change you tick off any of these numbers or colour them in or whatever you want to do, highlight them. If you can tick all of those off, you save, I'll keep in the thing, sorry. Um, you can save a total of £667.95. pence. So that's quite a cool little um, savings challenge. We've also got like £25 challenge, got birthdays, Christmas, holidays. Again, just get yourself a pot from Poundland or somewhere like that. And you can just tick those off, choose whatever one you want to do. We've also included the envelope challenge. Again, you might have seen that. Um, to different envelopes, you put these amounts in. You can save up 1,275. So perfect for like holidays and things like that, or bigger things that you're trying to save up for. And we've also got the 100 envelope challenge here. I told you there was a lot more in here. And um, we've then got cash stuff in. So a little bit about what cash stuff in is. Um, and then we've got um, things to start cash stuff in. So this will make more sense in a minute when I show you the binders. Um, but this is the essentials, non-essentials and savings. And then lastly, we've got a notes section. So I've wrote my payday plan, but throughout the year, I'm sure there'll be different things that I want to write notes on. So I just wanted to put some note pages in. Sorry, I'm so out of breath. What's wrong with me? Um, yeah, at the back. So yeah, if anyone's got any questions, as I say, the green one is exactly the same as the inside of the pink. But obviously, as well as the budget planners, we have got the budget binders that I want to quickly talk you through as well. Now, these come in three gorgeous colours. We've got pink, beige and sage green. When you order this, this is going to come as a bundle. So you can obviously choose what colour you want um, out of the three. So you'll get a binder. So let's say that we chose pink. And with the pink one, you are going to get... 30 tracker cards so these are tracker cards here you're going to get 100 cards in total you're going to get essentials savings and non-essentials i'm just going to show you i'm going to open one up just to show you like sort of what the things inside so you can choose from any of these cards that you sort of want to start saving there's also 10 blanks of each of them so there's 10 saving blanks 10 essential blanks and 10 non-essential blanks in the saving one there's loads of different like, little trackers in here as well so you can pop these in the binder and obviously start saving if we go into this one the bills and debt i'm like a hybrid by the way i sort of i still i use card for quite a lot of the things things like food um but all my savings and stuff i am going to start getting out for cash um, so we've got window cleaner, petrol. So I know that window cleaner definitely takes cash. Um, petrol, cash. Um, if you have a cleaner, obviously cash. Car car wash or car clean, cash. Um, yeah, so kids essentials, dog grooming, again, cash. Um, so yeah, all of these things here, as I say, there are blank ones here. So you can just fill in your own ones, but you get all of these included. Um, so you can just chop and change whenever. And obviously the last one is the non-essentials. So I'm not going to get this out, but it's things like nails and shopping and, you know, takeaways and things like that. So as I say, you get the trackers, the 100 cards, the binder, but you also get, and this is mine all filled out, you also get um, 10 of these wallets. Now you can buy extra wallets, um, but you just get 10 in the bundle. So this is what it looks like on the inside. We've got some space for cards. We've got like little inserts here. We've got inserts at the back. As you can see, I put my tracker cards in those. It's a perfect spot for them. We've got a little pen holder. Now I actually use all three of these and I can because obviously I can get the stock but I appreciate that some of you um, won't be able to get all three. So you can, these can fit up to 25, my savings one's got loads in, um, 25 wallets. So you can again just chop and change which ones. So this one I've got my essentials, so, like, so bills and debt. So I've got like my food shop, I do have a food account as i said so i've just got my card in there petrol kids essentials laundry window cleaner cleaner i don't have a cleaner at the moment but i'm hoping to get one car cleaner uh, dog grooming so that is like 
all of my actual like bills and debt. I've then got this one, which I've got as my non-essentials. So this is like fun, wants luxuries. I've just put some like, um, I did have some shopping. Um, this is like Primark gift cards and next ones. I've just put them in there. We've got shopping and I've put um, pocket money in here, hair, family days, donate, kids activities, date nights, self care, fun, nails, coffee, eating out because I did have a voucher so I put that in there as well and again at the back I've got the tracker cards so that is the inside of that one and then my uh, last one I showed you is my savings I keep opening it the wrong way my savings so I've got a little um, savings card here but all oh, this is all my cash stuff ones I've got clothing but I've also put like a tracker on the back of it I've got birthdays for family, birthdays for like kids parties, like friends, uh, birthdays. Obviously Sienna's at that age now where there's like always parties. Um, Christmas, again a Christmas tr um, tracker on the back. I've got birthdays, oven cleaner, because I hate cleaning my oven. Um, car, so anything for the car, for like MOTs. Home savings, um, emergency, I've got my credit card in there for emergencies. Holidays, uh, celebrations. Again, I've got an Easter one and Halloween one in there. Um, a summer holidays tracker, days out, a baby savings tracker. Weekend, £5 challenge. So I've got loads in this one. And then going back to my planner. So the uh, the back, I've wrote all the things that I'm going to cash stuff for my do three, um, three different things. So I've got like my essentials, my non-essentials and my savings. So these are the things that I'm going to get out. And then on payday, going back to this on in the planner, on payday, when we get paid, we obviously, after we leave the money in the account for direct debits, after we've paid into the joint for the bills, like all of those things come out. And um, we've got money left over for variables, savings, um, and obviously things like that. I've got, I'm going to get a certain amount of cash out. Adam's going to get a certain amount of cash out and give it to me. And then I'll put them into the relevant wallets. So that is my plan of action. Um, I'm really trying. This my, my as I said, my goal is to try and start saving and getting some money behind us. So, um, especially like the way the cost of living is going at the moment. So I just want to start having like these little pots where I can start saving up. Um, and I'm quite competitive. So stuff like this, I really like get into it and just want to you know, really like start filling up all these trackers. So as I say, if anyone's got any questions, please let me know. But I also just wanted to mention that these, when I was designing these planners, I also wanted to try and make them like multi-use. So not just for like budget planners, um, but taking them away on holiday. So you've got loads of little wallets and sections here for your passports and like travel documents. In any of these, you know, the spare blank ones that obviously I showed you, you could have like airport money, you could have spending money. These are going to be available in july obviously if they come any earlier then um we will get them out to you and um, but they're saying july at the moment because they said end of june july but i just want to be safe i hope that's answered all of your questions and um, if anyone has got any just pop them in the comments below and we will answer them